I start. No, he looks uh, exactly like Jesus. Yeah. So if somebody on Easter Sunday tells you to go see Jesus, you go see Jesus. <laughs> I wanted to cry, but I was like, there's 30 people around me. I don't know. Oh, All of a sudden, my heart chakra just <sighs> breathed. It felt like I was on fire. Like my whole chest, my heart, it felt like it was burning. And so I felt, you know, this, this shift in energy. It was um, just more connected. I actually, at one point, I did a cord clearing with my friend because from what I've studied and learned over time that you get connected to everybody you're in serious relationships with. Mm -hmm. and there's energetic cords yeah. and so while I was in Zimbabwe I was like you know I think I'm ready to just clear all my cords I just want to be here be now be present and make room for a new relationship or whatever so I did a cord clearing and she's like oh you're gonna feel you know healing one went right through my heart she had said and the next day, I felt this tingle on my heart chakra in the back. And it was there for weeks while I was at Zambala praying. It would really act up. I'm like, wow, this thing's huge. Like, that's crazy. It's that bad. It was for weeks. And then when I realized it wasn't something healing, it was my energy came back online. My yeah. heart, my atma. And I was like, oh, okay. And... I was called on Easter Sunday. <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh. So Easter Sunday, I walked into Mystic Journeys, which mm -hmm. was down in Venice Beach. And this woman was there, and she starts telling me, oh, you're Italian? Well, there's a saint that lives in Italy. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, saints? Like, okay, tell me more. So I'm thinking, like, Hindi, because I know... In the yeah. Hindi tradition all over India, they still have their gurus and saints. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, Swamiji, Shivananda, he's going to be here next month, and you should come see him. He's Italian, la, la, la. I was like, all right. So in my mind, I'm thinking there's an Indian guy that lives in Italy named Swamiji, and that's a saint and does miracles. Yeah. All right. So for giggles, you know, I leave there, and it hits me. I was at the store. I think I was like, oh, let me Google this guy. So I Google him pull the website up <laughs> he looked just like jesus to me so i oh, started no, he looks laugh. exactly like jesus <laughs> like it, it's like you can hold up a picture of jesus and in his face and they, they they look alike i mean he's uh, even like in his little poster because we had him here like he we had a picture of jesus and then his face and i was like what <laughs> i know and so i thought to myself i was like on easter sunday if somebody on easter sunday tells you to go see jesus you go see jesus <laughs> So I ended up going to this fire puja and I'd always been interested in fire puja because when I designed the apartment or the house for Nongal in Taiwan on the coast, we designed a room with a tea table for fire puja. But I never got to participate in the Tibetan fire puja. So they were having fire puja, so I was like, I'm going. And I went and we did satsang before. It was my first satsang ever. I never attended anything hindi based or yeah. and it's he's really not any denomination it's kind of crosses over to all but he works with shiva energy mm -hmm. so when i show up we do satsang and he starts working with kundalini mm -hmm. and i don't know if it was because it was in my my blood my dna tongue in italian but as soon as he started talking and i went into this exercise my heart just started to like ache like physically painful and I wanted to cry but I was like there's 30 people around me I don't know there's no way I'm gonna break out into crying you know but it wasn't like little tears like I wanted to cry like my grandmother died that's how intense it was and I just held it in and my throat locked up and I was like whoa this is so uncomfortable so afterwards he goes oh I want to know what your experiences are so I told him and I told him in Italian and he's like, oh, he's like, you blocked your experience. He goes, whenever you need to cry, he goes, you need to cry. He goes, it's purification. Don't hold it back. And then it hit me. I was like, oh, my gosh, I've done that my whole life. I have yeah. that throat lock-up feeling. That yeah, swallow whenever, it in. Even, and it's not always a bad thing. It's like if I wanted to sing on stage and I get nervous, I wouldn't do it, and the throat would lock up. You know, it was really interesting. And so then we had fire puja. 
And I was like, oh, I want to interview for my podcast, The Drift. I said, let's, let's do an interview. So he came. The next day, I picked him up. We did an interview. And he gave me a hug afterwards and walks away, which to me was the best scene ever because you had all these, like, hard rockers in Santa Monica. There was some kind of band thing going, and I dropped him off, and he's in, like, his lavender robes walking through. I was like, where's the camera when you need it? It was amazing. So... I drive off, all of a sudden my heart chakra just You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. It was like pins and needles blew up on both sides and I was so full, I was so happy. I was like, I gotta call my mom. Aww. So I call my mom and I was like, you're not gonna believe this. She's like. Are you all right? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm just so, I was so full of joy. Yeah. So then, um, to make a long story short, he leaves town and I'm at Zimbala. And a friend of his that I met comes in and she starts telling me about when her kundalini went off and all her experience and what the energy feels like and not to project it onto the guru that it's your love and just gives me this whole download. We must have talked for hours. And I was like, well, well it's interesting. I've never known anything because when he was doing healings and I was there, like the vibhuti would fall out of his hands. I'm like, where's that coming from? You know, trying to figure everything out. And, um, and she's like, no, there's the saints and the gurus in India still perform these, they have cities, which are like powers of some sort, and they perform these miracles. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, well, that's cool. So then she leaves. As soon as she walks out of the door, I start bawling profusely. And my little girlfriend was there. She's like, Sevi, what's wrong? You need something. I was like, nothing. I was like, I can't stop crying. This went on for hours. Just hours bawling, and then I was trying to get some work done, and I would feel dissociated. And I called my friends. I was like, "Something's going on." And they're like, "Whoa, your energy's so intense!" I go, "I think, I think it's my Kundalini," which I had never gone after. I've never done Kund. I tried Kundalini yoga, and then I thought about it. And you hear these stories, like when the energy goes off, people kind of go a little wacky. So I'd always been, yeah, not going down that path. And. uh Man, at the most, it was like hours into it. It got so intense. They're like, just go sit in the altar and just breathe. So I go sit there to breathe, and it felt like I was on fire. Like my whole chest, my heart, it felt like it was burning. And the most intense moment of it all, a text message comes through. And I look at it, and it was from Shivananda. And it said, Io sono con te, which means I'm with you. And then he had like icons of like a gust of wind blowing out the flames. And I'm going, okay, thank you. Like, that's yeah. a little crazy. So I go into mantra. We got like another hour. And my girlfriend's like, whoa. She's like, that was so intense. I was like, yeah. I go, and can we just talk for a minute? I was like, at the most intense moment of it all, I get a text from him. Yeah. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't have it in my hand. And I was like, time in London, because I knew he was in London at the ashram there. And it said 3 a.m. I go, it's 3 a.m. in London. We're in California. It's like 6. I was like, that's weird. And all of a sudden, another text comes through. And it's from him. It says, I don't sleep. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> So we just start laughing and throw on Barb Marley and start singing at the top of our lungs. But it was like this, after all that purging and that crying and the burning, it was just this place of pure energetic bliss. And I could still feel the back of my heart was just like, I can't even, it's almost like if you put icy hot mm -hmm. on your heart and then blew a fan on it, like that intense, oh, wow. you know? It's the only thing I can think of that. I see how it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was crazy. And then for the next week or so, it was like ups and downs. One day I'd be like so in joy and laughing. And then another day I'd be in just tears and crying and reviewing like the patterns that I've, I've run in my life. Basically things that I've done to myself. Like I didn't have confidence or I would 
talk down to myself. I was like, why would you do that to yourself? Yeah. You know, it was like these amazing revelations would just keep coming through. And so a friend of mine's like, I was like, what do I do with this energy? They're like, well, ask Shivananda. So I texted, I was like, what do I do? And he sent me pictures. And then you just see my house, Italy. And I was like, yeah, okay. I have like literally $600 to my name. You know, how's that going to work? And things worked out. And I was like, I think I need to do this. I called my parents. I said, hey, look, do I have any because I stashed some things with that. I was like, do I have any savings left? Because <laughs> I feel like I really need to do this. And I explained to them what had happened and my experience. And they're like, are you on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> it's like their worst nightmare. You know, their daughter moves to California and ends up with hippies. And now she's taken <laughs> off and going to Italy with a saint. You know? <laughs> If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.